Hi everyone, it's Lindsay with High Altitude Astrology, and today I'm bringing you a reading about Mercury going retrograde. And that's going to happen on October 13th at 7.05 p.m. Mountain Time. The chart is on the screen, and you can see here Mercury is at 11 degrees, 40 minutes of Scorpio. Mercury has been in the sign of Scorpio since the 27th of September. And because it's retrograding at 11 degrees of Scorpio, what this uh, is indicating is that it will be going back into the sign of Libra during its retrograde. And that's going to happen on the 28th of October. And it will retrograde all the way back to 25 degrees of Libra when it then goes direct on the 3rd of November. And then it will clear 11 degrees of Scorpio again on the 19th of November. So this means that really the um, retrograde cycle completes after Mercury goes direct and we clear the degree to which it went retrograde at. So we've got a little bit of time from, from now through the 19th of November to experience the Mercury retrograde cycle and what it means. Now, Mercury is retrograding in the sign of Scorpio. Uh, well, let me first talk about traditionally what retrograde uh, planets of any kind means is that the energy becomes more internal and we, we have an opportunity to reflect on it. Uh, retrograde stands for things like reviewing, reconsidering, reflecting, redoing. So it, situations that deal with the need to review, uh, readdress, reconsider things related to communication because that's what Mercury is all about. Mercury deals with how we communicate, how we talk, how we speak, how we think logically, sending inform you know sending information through the written word, through the spoken word, through emails, through technology. Um, it can be a time when it's retrograde that things relating to technology can come up computers breaking down, printers breaking down, you know, needing to, you know, address those kinds of things. We can be a little careless when it comes to uh, remembering things sometimes. It might be when we, we forget that appointment time or that appointment date. So just understand that during this Mercury retrograde time, especially uh, the time between now when Mercury's retrograde and then when it goes direct, which is again uh, in November on the 3rd, uh, you may experience more of that technical uh, frustration. But knowing it uh, gives us an opportunity to be able to step back from, a bit, uh, back from it a bit more when it happens and really bring more awareness to situations and uh, the patience required to address issues. Now, Scorpio, which is the sign that Mercury is retrograding in, is very interesting because uh, of the, especially the connections Mercury is going to be making during this retrograde cycle um, to Uranus and to Saturn, but I'll get to that in a minute. But Mercury in the sign of Scorpio is really about delving deeply into and uncovering uh, psychological motivation, psychological understanding, the shadow, things that are hidden. You know, it's a very revelatory energy through that process of going deep into the shadow. So Mercury in Scorpio is definitely an energy that likes to probe underneath the surface, wants to find out what's hidden, wants to get to the bottom of things. It can also have a very penetrating quality to it, Mercury in Scorpio. So there's a lot of truth and honesty that can come out. Uh, so these just may be themes that are coming up during this retrograde time where maybe we are having to have some deeper conversations with people at this time, or we're understanding things uh, in a more deep way about certain situations in our lives. Truth is being revealed, and now it's time to begin to um, you know, address these kinds of situations. Maybe we're receiving at this time more clear understanding about things through that Mercury and Scorpio experience. Mercury and Scorpio relates to uh, thinking, perceiving, and communicating 
as well as taking in new information with uh, passion, privacy, intimacy, vulnerability, a research-oriented quest for truth and transformational intensity and powerful desires. Now, the shadow side of Scorpio is manipulation, secrecy, and belligerence. So that would definitely be something as Mercury is moving into retrograde. If some of these uh, issues are coming up, some of these conversations are coming up, some of these insights are coming up, that we are very aware of how we're working and dealing with these insights because we don't want to express the more challenging and shadow sides of, of Mercury in Scorpio willingly. So we don't wanna become belligerent, we don't wanna become secretive, we don't wanna become manipulative. Now these may be things we are discovering about situations in our lives during a Mercury retrograde time, but taking the higher road is to face these things truthfully and honestly, and to, again, um, attempt to get to the bottom of things, to see the, th the truth clearly and make decisions from there. Now, I mentioned that I feel like it's an interesting sign for Mercury to be in during this retrograde because we are now in uh, to mid-October and uh, what we've been experiencing this year is this huge stellium of Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in the sign of Capricorn. And this is what's been bringing all of this transformational uh, energy in the world right now because Pluto, which is the planet that rules Scorpio, is in this sign of Capricorn with these other big planets, Jupiter and Saturn also in Capricorn. And it's creating this huge upheaval of a lot of the structures, that's what Capricorn represents, that govern our world. And uh, Jupiter is bringing uh, expansion and new perspective. And Saturn is asking that the work be done in order to create the changes that are being brought forth. So this is a very, very powerful stellium that we've been feeling all year, uh, to say, you know, powerful to say the least. Uh, and as we are kind of rounding out or, or finishing up this huge, uh, this huge triplicity of energy, now Mercury is coming along in this very powerful sign of Scorpio and really bringing the truth to the surface and really exposing the truth. Uh, and so what's gonna happen during Mercury's travel through uh, Scorpio at this retrograde time is it is going to first uh, oppose Uranus. So you can see here, uh, Mercury is at 11 Scorpio and Uranus is at nine Taurus. So they are opposed in the Zodiac, 180 degrees across from one another. So the first time that Mercury made this opposition was when Mercury was moving direct and this would have been on October 7th. You can see Mercury and Scorpio opposing Uranus uh, in Taurus. Now, then when we move forward, we'll see the opposition happen again while Mercury is retrograding. And this is on the 19th of October, about six days after Mercury has retrograde, we'll get this opposition. And then finally, once Mercury has gone direct, we will see the opposition one more time. And this is going to be on November 17th. So. By that time, Mercury will have gone direct and we will get that one last opposition. But what I'm wanting to uh, really focus on is the opposition that's happening while Mercury is retrograde um, on October 19th, because this will be sort of the middle of this three times that Mercury and Uranus are meeting. And Mercury-Uranus contacts are very powerful. If Mercury is about our communication and Uranus is about shocking change and awakening and awareness and, and revolution and independence and individuality. You know, there's gonna be a very strong, and there is a very strong pattern here that's requiring a lot, of, uh, a lot of truth and a lot of honesty and a lot of willingness to really embrace change as we may be discovering things during this Mercury and Scorpio retrograde cycle that Uranus is 
asking us to incorporate into our lives in order to progress and make our lives better. That's what Uranus really does. It's, it's about progress. It's about revolution. It's about humanity. And in fact, that may be another manifestation of this transit on a collective level during this time is bringing even more of a focus on the need for a balance between that Mercury and Scorpio energy, which again, if we think of the shadow, it can be very manipulative. And, and Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus, again, ruling progress, humanity in the sign of Taurus, which is really a practical energy. It's very grounded. Uh, it, it relates to, to finding uh, material security in our lives, but in the sign of with Uranus in the sign of Taurus, Uranus is even wanting to progress Taurian uh, attachment to materialism and attachment to uh, security and, and actually bring new ways into our lives that we can relate to the material world. Uh, so this Mercury opposite Uranus energy is is, is saying that we do need to look more real, look more truthfully and look more with a very keen eye in order to uh, progress um, not only our own lives, but humanity in this, in this way that is really helping us also to kind of change our value structure collectively. And uh, because that's what Taurus has to deal with too. It's what we value. It's valuing of ourselves, but it's also the things that we value in the world. Uh, so, so this is a theme that we'll, we'll be seeing collectively over the next uh, month uh, during this retrograde cycle. And then when Mercury goes direct again and opposes Uranus one more time on the 17th of November, um, that is really going to highlight this need to find this balance between honesty, um, also uh, communicating honestly, but also seeing very clearly and allowing what we see to, to really help us to evolve and progress and, and bring in the awareness of what's best for uh, humanity at this time. And this could also on a very you know, basic level in our lives just be like, you know, this is a very honest, we have to really get honest because if we don't, you know, this could get very ugly, you know, this could get very um, a, a power struggle dynamic, you know, where, where we just want to sort of almost like destroy things because, you know, we, where our, our freedom feels threatened or our individuality feels threatened, you know, so we may actually sort of dig our heels in about things and try and manipulate because we're unable to uh, really, um, in, in a sense, what, what the highest level of Scorpio is, is to, to transcend. It's to go through that uh, death and regeneration process of our thinking structures in this case, um, in order to um, be able to kind of rebirth into a even, uh, even better uh, way of being. The other thing that Mercury is doing during this retrograde cycle is that it is making a square to the planet Saturn. And Saturn is one of those three planets that have been in the sign of Capricorn this year in creating a lot of this powerful change. Now, the first time Mercury and Saturn squared was in September on the 23rd. Uh, but then what's going to happen during Mercury's retrograde cycle is that Mercury is going to square Saturn. Here's the, uh, Mercury is going to square Saturn on November 1st as Mercury is retrograde. Now, Mercury at this point has moved into the sign of Libra in its retrograde. And here we can see it at 26 degrees Libra and Saturn's at 26 degrees of Capricorn. So this again has already happened once in September. And now here it is happening a second time in, uh, on November 1st. And then once Mercury goes direct, it will happen one more time. And this will occur on November 6th also at 26 degrees. So what's happening as Mercury, as it's retrograding, squaring Saturn, is this is about maturity through our mental processes. Meaning 
Mercury deals with our thinking and our logic, but Saturn deals with discipline and structure and, and form, and it deals with you know, te lessons and discipline. So what's happening in this challenging dynamic is Mercury in Libra, which is about finding balance and harmony and fairness and diplomacy, is, is challenging or squaring Saturn in Capricorn. And Saturn in Capricorn is in its home sign, so it's very, feeling very strong there. And Saturn is about you know, the work that we do, in the effort that we make, uh, the discipline that's required to, to create structure and form. So the positive of this connection, and especially during the retrograde cycle, is we may be reviewing you know, how are we taking responsibility for what we say, what we think, the way we think about things in a harmonious and dis, uh, diplomatic way. And are there any uh, changes maybe that need to be made in order to have a more mature and a more disciplined and a more um, uh, really just sort of a mature and disciplined way of looking at things? Uh, you know, sometimes Mercury and Libra can be a little bit indecisive because it can see all of the sides of things. But Saturn in, in um, Capricorn is like, you know what? Uh, this is what needs to be done and this is how we're going to do it and let's do it. You know, it's, it's like the, um, the executive of a company. Um, it, it directs and it, and it manages and it, and it gets things accomplished. Um, so it, it just may be that during this Mercury retrograde time, we are having an opportunity to review and to reflect upon the way that we do think about things in our lives, perhaps relationships specifically because Mercury is in the sign of Libra. And uh, some hard calls might need to be made during this retrograde time. Uh, you know, we, now the, the, the thing to, be, to avoid would be any sort of closing down of communication because Saturn can have a tendency to sort of pull in and uh, there, there can be some fear related to Saturn or it can just close off. So that would be something to be aware of during this Mercury squaring Saturn uh, retrograde uh, connection with Mercury and Saturn is, is this possibility of wanting to just close down and shut off and not actually um, make the effort to, to look at things. <clears throat> so uh, something to be aware of with this combination. And it could also be like a potentially, maybe we do need to pull in to reflect on things and to really have an understanding of things because once, once Mercury goes direct and this combination happens one more time at the beginning of, of uh, November, you know, then we can come out and, and really you know, take responsibility for our communication and do what's necessary in order to facilitate the conversations that need to be had. So those are the two main uh, aspects that are going on with Mercury during this retrograde cycle. But again, going back to my point, I find it interesting that Mercury is, is retrograding at the end of this whole year of this stellium of Capricorn planets because now it's like all of the talk and all of the dialogue is, is, is happening. And being reviewed and happening. And so finally, at this last conjunction between Mercury and Saturn on November 6th, it's like these, you know, these, uh, everything is now being able to be looked at in a really logical way. You know, there's been so much this year of in, so much information that it's been hard to really navigate the overload of information out there and really understand the truth of things. And I think that's what this Mercury retrograde cycle is going to be helping us do, is to really help us see the truth more clearly and then have an opportunity to, uh, to, have, to find balance within our thinking structure and to use logic as a way to find fairness, find balance, find harmony, find diplomacy. Uh, and it's going to really challenge some of this Saturn in Capricorn and related to this big stellium that's been bring, brought up, just sort of some of the, the way that the 
the whole Capricorn energy has been going through a huge transformation right now. The, the energy of the patriarchy and of the, of the, of the structures that keep the uh, society together have really been going through this big, huge transformation. And I, I think part of this Mercury retrograde cycle going back in, 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 in Scorpio, going back into Libra and then coming back into Scorpio is going to help us see how now we need to implement all of these transformations and changes of the structure that we've been experiencing and being able to now find the harmony and balance on a logical communicative level and implement that. And not only a logical and communicative level, but, but really see clearly and then be able to find the balance and harmony from what we're being able to see clearly at this time. The last thing I wanna share in this video is a card that I pulled for this reading today. And this is from the Voyager Tarot by Jimmy Wanless. And the card that I chose when I asked for a card about this chart was called the Rejoicer, and it's called the Woman of Cups. And cups in the tarot, or in this tarot are, uh, water, emotion, feeling. And that's very much a Scorpio uh, energy because Scorpio is a water sign. And so it is uh, speaking to our emotions and our feelings and our sensitivity uh, through that we access through the emotions and the feelings. And this is described as, uh, like the seashell, lotus and cup, you are receptive to life. You let it fill your heart. You hear, taste, touch, and smell its essence. You are deeply moved by life's surges and tides, oceanic in the depths of your feelings. You express your gratitude to, through, to life through the celebration of love, reverence, and bliss. You know, and that is one thing that we, uh, I didn't speak about that's related to Mercury and Scorpio, Scorpio in general is passion. It's feeling passionate about something and really be driven, really being driven by our passion. And I believe that this Mercury and Scorpio energy is an invitation to really reflect on our own passion, what we feel deeply and, uh, how we can uh, tune into that and how we can allow that really strong, passionate energy, that really strong feeling nature to be a, a motivation for how we communicate, to be a motivation for um, the things we think about and the things that we decide, you know, we want to focus on in life. Uh, this can really, uh, this time can really get us in touch because again, Mercury retrograde being kind of an internal interning energy where we reflect on the thinking and the uh, communication processes within ourselves, but in this very deep, deep way, this very deep Scorpio way. And I feel this time can really help us to get in touch with what it is we deeply feel and what it is we're deeply passionate about and invite us to, to really connect with that and can come out into the world really confident with what it is uh, we, are, we are connected to on a passionate and a feeling level and be able then to share that in our lives with others. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe and I will see you at the next one. Take care.